You've achieved a life's ambition and bought your dream Aston Martin. Now you want to enjoy it to the full. There are so many events and activities you'll be sport for choice. Track days, coffee meets or touring. And why not enter a Concours? Every year we receive more and more inquiries from new and existing clients about the exacting world of Concours d'Elegance. How they can be involved and what exactly constitutes a Concours car. In this video we look at this sometimes mysterious world, debunk some of the myths and find out how you can be involved in your Aston Martin. It's demanding, but it's also fun, as you will find out. We can thank the French for the expression Concorde d'Elegance. After all, they invented it when, in the 17th century, the aristocracy enjoyed showing their carriages in the parks of Paris. It means competition of elegance, a contest to establish the most beautiful of them all. France was at the forefront of the development of the motor car, so it's no surprise that the phrase was soon applied to the new, now horseless, carriage. Today, the concourse scene is well established worldwide, with events such as Pebble Beach in California and Villa d'Este by the shores of Lake Como the best known and most prestigious. In the UK, we are blessed with many top-level meetings including Salon Privé, the Concours of Elegance and the Cartier Concours at Goodwood. And from a Mark perspective, the Aston Martin Emmys Club organises two Concours every year. In 2016, we visited two high-profile events that offer a broad overview of the scene. The Concours of Elegance at Windsor Castle and the Aston Martin Owners Club Autumn Concours. The only worldwide club dedicated to Aston Martin has organised Concours since its early days many decades ago. These were often informal affairs, but now, under the jurisdiction of Mark Donoghue, Chairman and Chief Judge of Concours, the AMOC organises meticulously run events twice a year. We were lucky to get the inside line on these from Mark. Talking to you, Mark, Mark Donoghue, Chairman of the Aston Martin Club, Concours, Chief Judge. Um, I think we'd like to know a bit more about Aston Martin Concours. Uh, what makes a good car? I think, first of all, uh, tell me about Aston, Aston Club Concours events. We hold two a year in the spring and in the autumn and traditionally we have uh, we have the spring one after the Bonhams auction at Newport Pagnell. Um, it's become more and more popular of recent years uh, particularly because of the increase in value of the cars as well. Uh, it's nice to see people preserve the cars. In, in days gone by people wouldn't look after their cars quite as much but the Concours means they actually put their cars into much better condition than they were and that's good to see. And um, would that condition be as new now we're getting on to the biggest argument that we always have with the judges. Originality, for me, is the key to Concours. Um, how can you have a, a 50 year old car with original parts on? Well, it's difficult. Parts are changed, tyres, starter motors. As long as the car, and we call it original specification, meets that specification, then we can accept it. It's very hard to find a DB5 that's completely original with original paintwork. What I do like to see is original interiors. I like to see that patination on the leather, that beautiful warm, rather than seeing a completely restored car, like it's just rolled out of the factory, I like to see that patina. You wouldn't go and buy a Chippendale chair and rub it down and give it a good coat with Ron Seal. We want to see this original car as it rolled out of the factory. Uh, does that mean the original colour then, Mark? Um, the original colour uh, is very important. Many cars are colour changed. Uh, if it has been changed, then you will lose one point. We have 100 points in the Concours, which are split into four sections. Interior, bodywork, chassis and engine, of which 25 points are uh, given to each section. And we take points off. We start with 25 points, and if the car's had a colour change, then you'll lose one point. If there's a dent or a scratch, it's half a point. And we work our way down from 25 points. But colour is very important. We want to see the original interior and the original colour. And thinking cars that have entered Concours, is it just for older Astons? No, most definitely not. We have 10 classes. We, we split the classes into pre-war, the Feltham cars, uh, the Newport Pagnall six-cylinder cars, 
the Newport Pagnell, eight cylinder cars, and then we go on to Bloxham and the modern classes, Gaydon cars. So now we do split them into, uh, into these sections, but we have the elite class. Now the elite class are for previous winners and it really is the creme de la creme. So you might have, for instance, we had this year at the Spring Concours a 1924 Aston Martin competing with a 2012 Aston Martin. Now that makes it very difficult for the judges to compare those era of cars. If I've just bought a car, and I like the idea of it because it seems like very good fun, no, yeah. meet some new people and have, have, a, have a good time, and I don't, I, I'm a bit worried that it's not going to be as shiny as some of the other cars, um, would I be welcome? You would most certainly be welcome and normally people get the bug. You do it once and you'll spend a couple of days cleaning the car before the event and the judges will scrutinize your car and they'll point one or two things out and give you a guideline what you might have done wrong and then you get the bug and you go back and you'll do it again next year and then eventually you'll get to elite class if you win that class that you've entered. And do people use the cars as well? Because we all love driving us, as we love looking at them, we love driving them. And I know, I know on some of the concourse there's a little rally or a tour beforehand. Uh, that's part of it, isn't it? Well, we don't like to see garage queens and many people do keep their cars in an airtight vacuum sealed garage and only show it at the concourse. We don't like to see that. Uh, we also have a 15 point penalty. If somebody brings their car to the event on a trailer, we'll take 15 points off. So what I set up last year to stop people parking their trailer around the back and driving it the last few hundred yards is we, we have a check-in point about five miles away from the event. So everybody has to drive through that check-in, sign in, and that means to say the route to the event, if there's a puddle, everybody goes through the same puddle. So we're on a level playing field. In just five years, the Concour of Elegance, an event staged only at Royal Palaces in the UK, has established itself as a truly world-class occasion, one to rival Pebble Beach and Villa Deste. It's an elite class event, by which we mean one that attracts the top collectors from all corners of the world, showing only the very best cars. Glorious one-off designs from before the war, exciting 1950s sports racers, and the gorgeous European GT cars from the 50s, 60s and 70s. It's limited to just 60 cars, ranging from the dawn of motoring to modern day supercars. Having visited St. James's Palace, Hampton Court Palace and Holyrood House in Edinburgh, this year, the Concours of Elegance returned to Windsor Castle, where the famous quadrangle was decked with some of the rarest, most significant and expensive cars on the planet. We managed to grab a few minutes of one of the organisers, James Brooks Ward. James Brooks Ward, uh, one of the top men at the Windsor Concours of Elegance, on the organising committee. How do I get a car in the Concours? I think sort of the answer is you can't get in to the Concours unless you're invited into the Concours. Ah, right. So there is a selection committee made up of a group of international owners who invite various cars to the event and their owners. Uh, and it's very, you know, they look at both parts, which is the owners and the cars. Um, and they look at uh, things like the, the quality, the uh, uniqueness, the um, the sort of one-off make of each car and what it's been done, its history, and then they then they form a list, and they will form a list which is balanced between a brands, marks, and secondly between years. So anything between 1894, five, right way through to the latest uh, 2016 variant, whatever that is. For another perspective on the world of Concours at both club and international level. We asked Nicholas Mee for his thoughts. So, Concord, you've probably come to some conclusion that it's quite a big subject. I think it's important that you can uh, differentiate Concord here from the ultra competitive Concords, which are the, uh, the Concords of Elegances and the Pebble Beaches and the Villa Destes of this world. And then there are the Club Concords, things like the Aston Martin Owners Club Concords. I think the Owners Club Concords is slightly different in so much as for many people it's a day out and it's a great day out it's great that these events are organized you can go with your family for the day you can take your car you're going to meet like-minded people because you know they've got probably a similar car you can exchange views on the car you can exchange experiences on the car uh, but at the end of the day it really is a nice day you may win something, you may not. Does it really matter? 
well, that's for you to judge. All we would say, though, is if you are serious about doing a concourse, make sure the car is well prepared, make sure it's clean, make sure when you go to the event you take the history that it is equipped the way it's meant to be equipped and is going to be pleasant and pleasing to the judges. And if you do win a trophy for your class, well great. And of course, uh, uh, it will, uh, by definition, add a little bit of cachet and possibly value to the car uh, for the years ahead when either you wish to sell it or the next owner wishes to sell it. It forms part of the history of the car, which is all important, as we all know. So, we've learnt that the concourse scene is a vibrant one that operates at different levels. There are the hugely popular events that take over the Village Green, to National Mark Concourse, such as the ones organised by the Aston Martin Owners Club. And right at the top, there's the International Blue Chip Contest held in the most glamorous locations around the world. But don't worry about shipping your car to Pebble Beach just yet. Do try a local low-key event first. Treat it seriously and, as Nick says, do your homework. Clean your car and bring its history file with you. You might come away with a prize. What you will get out of all this is a sense of achievement. You'll probably have some fun and meet new fellow owners. And you'll see what rude health our hobby is in, a truly worldwide passion for classic cars. And Aston's, obviously, in particular. And you'll have an answer the next time someone asks, is it a Concorde car? <laughs>